Hi, Mr. Richards here, and today's lesson is on multiplying integers. Our first key concept is to multiply two integers with different signs. The product of two integers with different signs is negative. So if we have a positive 2 multiplied by a negative 6, the result is a negative 12. Likewise, if we had a negative 2 multiplied by a positive 6, this would be a negative 12. So in example A, when we have 8 times negative 9, just multiply the two numbers together. 8 times 9 is 72. But we have a positive multiplied by a negative, and so that answer is going to be negative 72. What about negative 9 multiplied by 11? We'll multiply 9 times 11 to get 99. And again, a negative times a positive is a negative number. So when you multiply two integers with different signs, positive times a negative or a negative times a positive, your product is going to be negative. The other part of multiplying two integers would be two integers with the same sign. So if we have a positive number times a positive number, that product is a positive number, same as it's always been, same as it'll always be. What might be different, though, is a negative number multiplied by a negative number is going to be a positive number. So 4 times 5 in example A is just 20. Now, negative 9 multiplied by negative 6, just do 9 times 6 to get 54. And a negative multiplied by a negative is positive. What about negative 4 multiplied by negative 16? We'll just multiply 4 times 16 to get 64. And a negative times a negative is once again positive. So when you're multiplying two integers with the same sign, whether it's a positive times a positive or a negative times a negative, your result, your product, is going to be positive. Example 3. A ski lift descends the side of a mountain at the rate of 450 feet per minute. What is the lift's change in altitude after 7 minutes? Well, one of the keys here is we need to recognize that we're descending, which means that we're going down. So when we go down 450 feet per minute, we're going to represent that by the negative integer, negative 450. Now, we're traveling 7 minutes, so if we take the negative 450 and multiply by 7, we'll get the product of 3,000. 150 feet, but remember a negative times a positive is a negative answer. So negative 3,150 feet represents the lift change in altitude after 7 minutes. Now when we're multiplying by more than just two integers, there's a couple of different strategies. One of which is to just flat out multiply straight across. So if we have 7 times negative 11 times 4, we can take the first two factors, 7 times negative 11. 7 times 11 is 77, and a positive times a negative is negative. And then multiply that by 4. 77 times 4 is 308. And a negative times a positive is still negative. So that's one way to go about it. What's a different way? Well, if I rewrite this 7 times negative 11 times 4, one thing I can do is use the commutative property of multiplication to reorder. So I can reorder my two positives next to each other, 7 times 4 times negative 11 then at the end. So that 7 times 4 is just a positive 28, so I have the same signs there. 
and then multiply by the negative 11. But either way, you'll still get negative 308. What happens when we're multiplying with coefficients and variables? Well, we have 8a multiplied by negative 5b. Well, we have this 8a multiplied by negative 5b. Well, we can regroup this so that we have those integers together, the 8 times negative 5, and then we can have our variables together, just the a times b. Well, 8 times negative 5, 8 times 5 is 40, but a positive times a negative is negative. And then a times b is just a b. So negative 40 a b is our solution. And lastly, evaluate the expression. So we're going to substitute these in. We have negative 3xy if x equals negative 4 and y equals 9. Well, this will turn out to be negative 3 times, substitute in the negative 4 for x, so negative 4, and then multiply by the 9 for y. And we have three integers here. And our negative integers are already next to each other. So we can take th negative 3 times negative 4. 3 times 4 is 12. And the negative times a negative is a positive. And then multiply by 9 at the end. 12 times 9 is 108. And a positive times a positive is simply positive. So to summarize our rules for multiplication of integers, when we have two integers, if we have a positive integer multiplied by a positive integer, the result is a positive integer. If we have a negative integer, multiplied by a negative integer. Our product is a positive integer. So that falls under our two integers same sign. Positive product. Then, if we have a positive multiplied by a negative, that's going to be a negative. Or, if we have a negative multiplied by a positive integer, this is going to be a negative integer as well. And so this follows the rules if we have two integers with different signs. We are going to have a negative product. And just a quick note on our multiplication rules versus our addition and subtraction rules. They are different. So separate these multiplication rules from your rules to add and subtract integers. You cannot use these multiplication rules to add or subtract integers. And that is it for this lesson on multiplying integers. Good luck!